No, I'm an actress. I'm a singer or a dancer. Okay, well, not a break dancer, whatever. But I think that's all you need to know. <laughs> Hi, my name is Patrick Park. Hi, my name is Patrick Park. Patrick Park. Hi, my name is Patrick Park. Patrick Park. Hello. Oh, saying my name is so weird. Why am I overthinking saying my name? Oh my gosh. Okay. Hi, my name is Patrick Park. He steps aside and he says, There. Now you look like a pretty girl. And that's it. That's the moment. It wasn't when the producer told me to put on the jacket. It was when I did. And then I got up on that stage and I sang my song about how powerful I am. And I am. I really am. We'll get there. My biggest takeaway from the program is that being supported as an emerging artist is awesome. <laughs> I found a network of peers and mentors and artists who all make this vibrant community and made pursuing art feel like a much less daunting task. I think when you're in school, you experience this beautiful community and then leaving, it can feel isolating, but being an amp was quite the opposite. I found so many beautiful humans and so many great resources that I don't know I would have had otherwise um, and truly found community tenfold in this program. I contacted the Black Theatre Workshop upon my arrival in Montreal because I felt that there was something missing. Um, even after all of my education, my work experience, uh, the internships that I've had throughout um, my career, I felt as if um, in order to take the next step creatively, I needed, um, I needed a, a better place to develop. So I am an actress from Montreal, but from the French part. And with the BTW, I discover a huge world I didn't know about. This is amazing. And the thing I'm gonna get away from the program is for sure they give me back my confidence as an actress. And I can thank them enough for that. It's huge. What? Sorry, I didn't hear you, Chloe. You said your name was Chloe, right? And she would say, no, no, I said Zoe. I said Zoe, and then you would say, oh, you see, I thought you said Chloe because it's just I'm very busy with other stuff right now is the thing, but then you didn't even end up saying any of that to her because you were too worried that your hands would be sweaty, which they weren't even that sweaty until you started worrying about them being sweaty, which made them sweaty. And so you put them under the hand dryer in the bathroom, but then they were still sweaty, just very warm now as well. Oh, you know she's waiting, just anticipating things she may never possess. While she's without them, just try a little, try a little tender man. I'm really grateful uh, to have met people that were so inspiring and who allowed me to uh, grow as an artist. It's really a blessing to have a French and English community uh, in Montreal, so AMP is the program to be. I, I know I value the use of the body in the space, I know I value dance as a format to explore space, and I know I really, really, above all, value the work that we have as directors of serving the text, of serving the story. For me as an artist, I think so much of what I'm doing is trying to absorb the world around me and think about how that can translate into these stories, into making other stories more powerful. Like it's automated. Like the bank sends it to me. And I wanted you even mail it. Like, is it personal? 
or is it just robotic routine responsibility? And now, and now I'm thinking, who, who does that, huh? What kind of nigga just sends a check and calls that fatherhood? Uh, the need to connect, share, and learn was very strong, and I felt that the AMP program was a perfect mix of education, mentoring, networking, and the inspiration that I needed. Honestly, no matter how much you love the work that you're doing, you need to take that love and you have to match it with hard work and commitment and focus. And that's, that's a skill that you have to acquire, that focus, that that hard work, that work ethic. And I think that the program has illuminated me more to knowing that it's not just about loving what we do, it's about working at it and it's about constantly improving and getting better and better. That's what in those three words you say, I was afraid to say. That is what I wanted to say. You want to go hang gliding, skydiving, or parasailing, or wherever. Take me to all those places you want to go. I just wanted to be a better actor. Like, I'm a great singer and I know that, um, but I felt like even my acting through song was lacking and my acting in general was lacking and I don't want to ever be somebody who's hired to work in a show because I sing really well. I want to be hired because I tell a story really well. I learned mainly that when I cultivate my own voice, that it's worthy of standing on its own that I don't need to compromise or defend, placate or validate uh, what I say. AMP is a place that not only gives you space to work, time to work, um, and connects you with really amazing artists and like both professional and emerging, but it also just, it gave me the sense that like, oh yeah, being supported rules. Being supported allows you to take you know, maybe the steps that that, that felt really daunting um, or to seek out opportunities that you otherwise wouldn't have if you hadn't had a team of people championing you and telling you like, yeah, I, I think you should try that. I think you could do that. Um, and I think that that's great. And it's something that I didn't even know was so amazing until I had it. And I truly hope that every artist has an opportunity to feel as supported as I have throughout my time at AMP. It wasn't you I pushed, it was my teacher. But I wished it was you. I wished it was you so bad I had to pee. Almost fucking peed on myself right there in front of class. And I don't know if that's hate or love or something else I was feeling. But I know why Bigger Thomas did what he did and I hate that I know. But shoo, I hate more. You, I hate most of all. And realizing that you're not, you're worth it. You think you're new, you think uh, you're beginner and you know less than others, but there's this sense of, of, uh, of, of helping, um, of, of being of being there for each other that that it's very very new to me <laughs> and I still have to adapt to it uh, maybe because of my background I don't know uh, but yeah building community is I would say the number one thing I would take away from the program that is for sure so uh, in AMP, I found the advocacy that I was looking for. I found uh, relationships with other artists that genuinely wanted to see me succeed. And uh, that, um, that kind of validation from my experience, experience as a black woman, trying to make it in the visual arts um, as a person um, was incomparable.
when I speak about AMP and when I encourage others to apply, something I've said is that like you will never feel or I've never felt more like people were fighting for me, people were in my corner who really were like rooting for me to succeed and doing everything within their power for me to succeed, which I think is sometimes a hard thing to do for yourself. Um, and it inspires me to do that for myself and to, to want to do that for others. Um, and I think especially in, in a community of people of color, we, we really need that, or I found I really need that because um, I don't always feel entitled to success and I don't always feel entitled to uh, doing something great because because of the world and the way it sets us up, I suppose. I found her lying on the floor in the kitchen. Why? Why she didn't come to me? I will have done anything for her. Anything. Didn't she know that? <laughs> For me, I think it was a sense of home. You know? I felt like I could grow there and get the support that I felt like I needed to grow as an artist, you know what I mean? And what I got was bit more than I bargained for, which I'm grateful for. How can I take my own lived experiences and the lived experiences of those around me, how can I collaborate with the artists that I am blessed to work with? That's really, that's really what I'm exploring right now as an artist and who I think I am. I see myself primarily as a collaborator, someone who's just collaborating with others and trying to make sense of the world together. I also did a minor in human rights, and so that pairing made me really interested in socially engaged theater and what are the possibilities for change using this medium. The best way that I felt I could do that personally was as a director and questioning whose story gets told and how is it told. A uh, big inspiration for me is Mary Overly, who founded The Six Viewpoints, and she investigated, okay, who gets to make the first stroke on the canvas in the rehearsal hall? And that's something that really sparks my interest as well. So I think about hierarchy and space a lot. That being said, I still feel like a student and I'm still growing and learning and figuring out, okay, what, what am I interested in and how do I want to best execute that? And it's an ongoing process. If one of us turn out to be evil, then that's enough for them. They can turn off the news and go to bed and pretend that they know everything about us. Because white people see what they want to see. And every stereotype has a grain of truth, and you're that grain. So when their razor-sharp eagle eyes focus on you, motherfucker, they're going to blow your ass up to the size of a boulder, and the rest of us are going to get blocked out of their vision, and all they'll see is you, a creep pervert, a pig. Now, I don't like policing my own kind like this, but one of us has to. I'm going to make sure that pieces of shit like you have no safe place to live or work or hide. I'm going to make every day of the rest of your life a nightmare beyond reckoning. I will fuck you up. I've been working in Montreal and seeing, I feel like theater and music and art is going into this period where people want things to be more relatable to their everyday lives and not like one very specific moment um because i feel like then you're kind of losing all the complexity that is life all the time i've thoroughly enjoyed being a part of black theater workshops artist mentorship program they adapt they adjust they listen to people Black Theatre Workshop is not just for Black people, it's for 
uplifting the voices of black people. It's for uplifting the narratives um, and work of black creators and it's important for people of all backgrounds to learn from Black Theatre Workshop and so I'm really glad that I took the opportunity to apply and engage with them because I really I really have learned a lot. I've made up my mind to define my own destiny I look at my environment. Now that I'm done with the program, I, I've kind of found myself as an artist. Um, like I said, I'm a poet, spoken word artist, performer, singer, musician, um, overall storyteller. I use a lot of different art mediums to tell my stories. And now that I've made it through the BTW mentorship program, I've I see myself as an artist who's not afraid to ruffle a few feathers if it means that I get to tell a story that has been waiting to be told. I'm part of all of that, that, that whole, you know, big human schematic or puzzle or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, man, the way I see it is that, you know, we got it. We got to we got to let people know about these stories that haven't been told before. You know? Well, and it's about time that they be told. I'm talking about stories about um, black queer women. I'm talking about young black people who've, for example, grown up in Montreal North and in, in the city, and their lived experiences of racism and systemic um, oppression and things that I've been craving to see. Those are the stories that I want to tell. And if that means that I make some people uncomfortable, then so be it, because I think those stories need to be told regardless.